Mary Caitlin Smith and I am a communication sciences and disorders speech pathology major here at Valdosta State University and my interest is um, genealogical research and collecting family heirlooms. So this is a early 1800s wood carving utensil that was owned by my second great-grandfather, yeah, my second great-grandfather, John Solomon, who you'll see a picture of later. Um, you would stick the piece of wood that you wanted to carve into here, and then you would lock it into place while you would hold the handle, and you would just basically just go to town turning it. The next piece, I'm gonna show you some photographs. So this photograph right here, as of my second great grandfather, Elder James Jim Henry Smith. And he was born on January 16th, 19, I mean 1861, and died in March of 1940. And he was a well known person in the community. He was a church elder for one of the first churches that was founded in Twigs County. And this is his father, which would be my third great grandfather. David Davy Smith, and he was born on May 13th of 1794, and he died on July 12th of 1883, and he did found, he did found, he was the founder of the um, first, one of the first churches in Twiggs County, which was uh, originally a Church of Christ, but then in the early 1800s, um, they changed the denomination, and now they are Currently, Cool Springs Baptist Primitive Baptist Church. So now it is Cool Springs Primitive Baptist Church and it is still a church with a great congregation and um, just a small little home down to earth country church. So this piece was also owned by my second great grandmother who owned the basket and the iron. The, it's significant because it was hers, but this is also a 100% jade dish, dish, Japanese jade dish that she um, bought herself. Um, just used it as a table centerpiece for a long time and has been stored in their china cabinet, which is in our farmhouse. Um, one of my favorite, personal favorite pieces is these buttons, um, these are buttons from the war between the states, also known as the Civil War. These were worn on a cavalry, a soldier who was in the cavalry. And you can see all the different um, emblems on the buttons if you would like to get closer. The eagle with the D. And then the state of Georgia symbol. And probably one of the coolest pieces that we have is this pair of glasses that is mid 1800s um, here's the tin case that goes with them handmade tin case and here are the glasses themselves Let me be extra careful so here is a picture of my family from the one who owns all of the other stuff that we've seen thus far. Uh, I'm gonna pick this up and show you up close. So this is the members of the Chance family of Tweaks County, Georgia. Um, this picture was approximately taken in 1897. I also do reenactments at Richland Church whenever they have the opportunities. The reenactments, um, it's just really, really interesting just being able to kind of represent a time in history that is some for some people long forgotten the way I would start off personally is if you're close to any of your family members for example your mother or your father just get as much information as you can from them at first regarding your general family tree so get back out there learn about your family and as always go Blazers